Hi there, Lillian here, health and body coach from IWantMyBodyBack.co.uk and in today's video, this is in fact part two of two videos and I've come to speak to you about five common mistakes that stop you losing weight. Now if you haven't already, go back to part one and watch the video there because in that video I shared three of the five mistakes that I've seen most people make but in this video, I'm going to be sharing the remainder two common mistakes. So continuing on from that last video, I'm going to start with mistake number four. So, uh, as I mentioned, let me debrief on what I mentioned in part one. So most people um, I've heard complain that, especially those over the age of 40, Lillian, I find it hard to lose the weight. What can I do to lose the weight? Um, so some of the common mistakes that I mentioned in part one video, which I would advise you to go back and watch and catch up on, is number one, underestimating how much you eat. Number two is cutting out fat or avoiding it altogether. Um, you know, you end up cutting out essential fats as well as the bad fats. Um, and mistake number three is not fueling before exercise and after exercise. Now, um, mistake number four is exercising for too long. Yes, exercising for too long. Now, I used to do this. I used to exercise for hours on end simply because I love exercising. Um, but through research, we found that exercising for too long actually causes your body to go into stress mode. Now, I've seen it myself in the gym. Ladies who want to lose the weight, feel the burn type of thing. Um, we'll go and slog it out in the gym. Men as well, slog it out in the gym for hours on end, go to back-to-back -back classes. I, I hear people say, oh, I've done four classes today, three classes today. But unfortunately, the weight is still not shifting. Now, this is simply because, as I mentioned, your body's gone into stress mode. Now, what happens is the body releases the adrenaline, the cortisol hormones, causes actually your body to start stripping muscle mass for energy and this in turn causes your body to hold on to the fat especially around the middle because that's where your vital organs are so your body's um, basic ability is to keep you alive so it will store the fat around there so this is why you're not shifting the weight rather do short bursts of exercises now making sure that those exercises are suitable for you to do and also will help you to achieve your goal of losing weight. So, for example, you could do um, jack, jumping jacks followed by some squats, jumping squats maybe, followed by some lunges or press-ups, but resting in between those exercises. So just short bursts of exercises. You don't really need to exercise any more than 20 or 30 minutes at each time. Um, and this will help you to shift the weight. I've seen it with my clients. This is how I exercise as well and I find this helps to get quick results in quick time. The next common mistake that I see people make and that stops them from losing the weight is to not have a viable plan. Now I cannot emphasize on this enough. It is said that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I've seen people think that they can just Get, get by by randomly doing this exercise and then that exercise, going to that class, doing that class, but there's no plan in place. They don't know how much weight they're losing, they don't know when they want to lose the weight by, they don't know what equipment or help that they need, and of course, they don't lose the weight. So what you need to do is sit down and think to yourself, okay, how much weight do I want to lose? When do I want to lose it by? Will I need to go to the gym to lose the weight? What exercises will I need to do? Um, and what special equipment will I need? What food am I going to eat? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself. Once you've got those answers, then you can start to create your plan and slot in the bits that you need to help you to achieve the goal. So, going over those mistakes again. So, mistake number four is exercising for too long. So try not to exercise for too long. Just do short bursts of exercises for at least 20, 30 minutes. That's all you need. And mistake number five is not having a viable plan. So make sure you've got a viable plan, something that you know you can stick to that's easy for you to execute and will help you to achieve your goal. So 
Are you making any of these mistakes? Again, if you are, like I mentioned before, don't feel bad or guilty. We all make mistakes. The main thing is to learn from them and to course correct along the way with the solutions that I've provided for you. So apply these solutions to your life, to your body, to your health and your fitness plan and let me know how you get on.